Yo, what is going on YouTube? I am Germ here and today we are talking about what is really the biggest news in the financial world today, especially people who are fans of cryptocurrencies. Um, we are talking about this article here. We have another article to go through as well, but uh, Bitcoin coming to the big board. People have been really, really talking about this a ton. People have been excited and some people don't know exactly what it means or how important it is or whatever. Um, so hopefully we'll be clearing all of that up in this video today. So definitely drop a like if you guys do enjoy it. Subscribe to today and all my latest content and consider uh, checking out the first link in the description below if you want to get a free stock just for getting signed up with robin hood but uh today we are talking all about the bitcoin etf uh that everyone's really talking about right now um an exchange traded fund tied to the cryptocurrency is set to begin trading on the new york stock exchange a milestone for the industry this is going to give cryptocurrency uh bitcoin specifically uh the option to be available to so many more people so much more easy than it ever was before and this could really be be a monumental day in the history of cryptocurrency, um, in the history of the financial markets, uh, in really the future of the world. Potentially, this could be a very, very crazy day. But as this article says, here comes the Bitcoin ETF. Bitcoin has been on a tear in recent weeks, approaching record high prices above 60,000 as crypto enthusiasts anticipate history in the making. Tomorrow morning, this is uh, October 19th, ProShares will launch a long-awaited exchange-traded fund on the New York Stock Exchange linked to Bitcoin futures, the firm and the exchange told DealBook. The ETF will give investors exposure to Bitcoin without having to hold the crypto directly via any, any ordinary brokerage account. So um, that is obviously a very, very big deal in a lot of ways. But what is interesting to note here is this is a Bitcoin futures ETF. That is what a lot of people are talking about. This is not actually a Bitcoin ETF in the traditional sense. This is not an ETF that is going to be directly holding Bitcoin. And that is very, very important to note because this is a huge first step or not even first step, but just a huge step in the right direction. Um, but a lot of people, myself included, really believe that the floodgates are absolutely going to open once we get a real traditional Bitcoin ETF where there is, um, you know, an account that needs to hold the cryptocurrencies because not only will that create huge buying pressure as they're buying up all the Bitcoin or all of whatever crypto, but they're also going to be incentivized to hold on to it. It's going to be removing Bitcoin and cryptos, um, you know, out of the potential trading pool, supply and demand. That stuff tells you that, that will be an absolutely massive day for Bitcoin. But that is not what this is. This is a Bitcoin futures ETF. Uh, again, not going to be holding the cryptos um, directly, but it will give people um, exposure, people who are trading on traditional marketplaces, people who are tra uh, trading with traditional stock brokerages. Um, you know, right now to get crypto, people have to go to, you know, Coinbase or, or Binance, or you can get some exposure on Robinhood. Or, you know, if you're on traditional apps like Fidelity, um, you know, TD Ameritrade, stuff like that, you have to trade in kind of tangential um, cryptocurrency stocks like Coinbase or, um, you know, Bitcoin miners or stuff like that, if you want to get some indirect exposure to cryptocurrency. But now people will be able able and be exposed to, um, you know, Bitcoin in the traditional sense more openly, which is going to be a huge, huge deal, obviously in a ton of ways. We don't know exactly what it's going to mean for the price of Bitcoin in the short term or in the long term, but a lot of people are expecting this to mean big, big things for Bitcoin. You know, people who are maybe on the fence, like, oh, I would, you know, I would buy some Bitcoin. I would throw some of my portfolio into it, but I don't have an easy way to get to it. I don't want to move money around. I don't want to change my accounts. I don't want to make a new account. I'm not going to. They're now going to have an opportunity to get into this, you know, more easily, but then also people who potentially, uh, if it's possible, haven't heard of Bitcoin, don't know about Bitcoin. This stuff could be now coming up on their radar for the first time, which is just, uh, you know, getting this out to bigger and more audiences, which ultimately at the end of the day is going to help with exposure, adoption, all of these things for cryptocurrency and Bitcoin. And this could potentially get a ton of money flowing into the cryptocurrency markets, which is obviously a big deal. 2021 will be remembered for this milestone, um, says the CEO of ProShares. Investors who are curious about crypto um, but hesitant to engage with the unregulated crypto exchanges want convenient access to Bitcoin in a wrapper that has market integrity. Uh, for nearly a decade, crypto entrepreneurs and traditional finance firms have sought permission to launch an ETF in the US, but their applications have been delayed or denied by the SEC. Many remain pending. Again, even back in like the 2017, 2018 uh, bull run for cryptos and Bitcoin, like when we crossed 20,000 for the first time, there was 
so many rumors about um, a Bitcoin or cryptocurrency ETF coming to the markets. And again, now four years later in 2021, we still don't have anything like that. So we've heard rumors, we've heard speculation, we've heard some of these things before, but now that it is actually coming um, is actually going to be a very, very big day. Um, a Bitcoin futures ETF falls short of what some purists want, a fund that holds crypto directly. Um, but the SEC chair recently suggested, suggested that the agency might allow crypto ETFs based on futures, um, bets on Bitcoin price fluctuations rather than the underlying crypto itself that trade on a highly regulated exchange. Ex approval for the ProShares ETF, which is based on Bitcoin futures that trade on the Chicago Mercantile Exchange, won't be announced by the SEC, but the firm's final prospectus met with no opposition ahead of its effective deadline and the New York Stock Exchange is readying for launch tomorrow. Um, so yeah, this thing is going to be happening. It's going to be going down. It's going to be crazy um, to see. You know, we do have this, uh, you know, ETF coming. The ticker symbol is going to be BITO. Um, it's also going to eventually, whenever, you know, options and stuff come out, it is going to allow people to get into leverage positions in Bitcoin futures a lot more easily than they can do right now as well, which will just throw a whole nother, you know, wrinkle curveball into this whole thing. It's going to be very, very crazy. Um, but yeah, people are excited. People are hyped up. This is a big, big day in crypto history, Bitcoin history, and potentially financial history as, uh, you know, the, the crypto ETF, the Bitcoin ETF is finally coming to the New York Stock Exchange starting October 19th. Um, but yeah, pretty much it for this video today, guys. Definitely drop a like if you did enjoy it. I would appreciate it so, so much. Uh, subscribe, save today and all my latest content. Leave a comment down below. What do you think about BITO? I would love to hear your guys' thoughts and opinions. Hopefully catch you guys in the next one. But until then, peace.